What's wrong, Holly? My soulmate, Jared, he's 80% nice and 20% naughty, but that still means he's gonna be on the naughty list. He is the son of Jack Frost. But Winky, he saved my life last year. He's been nice. Plus, I think he's gonna propose to me soon. Holly, your father wants to talk to you. Yes, Dad? Is it true that Jared is thinking of proposing? Well, he's sort of been hinting at it. He needs to be 100% nice before Christmas. But Dad, Christmas is only a few days away. If he is not off the naughty list, then you can't be together. I used my ice powers to make that for you. I hope you like it. I love it, Jared. Thank you. Hey, watch this. No, Jared! <sighs> <laughs> you can't be using your ice powers like that. Why not? It's funny. Because you're still 20% naughty. And my dad said if you don't get on the nice list by Christmas, we can't be together anymore. What? No, his score went down again. It's getting really cold in here. He has to notice that it's not me. Jared, look, here comes another person. Make them slip and fall with your ice powers. No, this just feels mean now. Oh, please, Jared, we were just messing around. You sure your dad doesn't mind if I act naughty? Yes, I told you, he doesn't care anymore. <laughs> now, Jared, what do you say you and I be really naughty and we can go to your place and you can unwrap me like a little Christmas present? Nah, you're not Holly. What? Of course I am. My soulmate would never say- Is that a purple streak in your hair? No. Hey, are those wings? <sighs> Dang it, the magic is wearing off. Where is she? I'm not telling. Ow! You know you're gonna make your nice score go down. It's going down a lot more if you okay, don't- Okay, wait, I'll show you where she is. Just follow me. Holly! Holly, come on, wake up! I don't like this, come on! Oh no, I think the blizzard killed her. I think the blizzard killed her. No. How long has she been in here? Over five hours, and your ice powers aren't gonna be much help to her. She needs someone who could warm her up. I think I know just the guy. Ugh. Please, Mr. Heatmiser, you have to save my soulmate. Wait a minute. Aren't you Jack Frost's son? Yes, and this is Santa's daughter. Can you please help her? She's been out in a blizzard for hours. Hmm. I'll see what I can do. But if you're really Jack Frost's son, you should leave. This place will kill you. Not until I know she's okay. There. That should have helped her. Oh, Holly. Jared? You're... you're okay. Wait, what's wrong? The heat. It's too hot. I, I can't get up. <laughs> Please, Mr. Heatmiser, you have to help me. If I touch him, I'll only make him worse. It's okay, Holly. All that matters is that you're safe. Jared, you reached 100% on your niceness score. We can get married. You can't give up on me now. I'm sorry. I don't think he's going to make it. I'm sorry. I don't think he's going to make it. Holly? Jared? Do you need some help? Yes, please. Okay, let's get him up. Okay, we got him back in the snow. Now we just have to wait and hope he wakes up. You really love him, don't you? With all my heart. Jared? Holly? You okay? Yeah, never better. <laughs> Jared, you were willing to sacrifice yourself to save my daughter. So, you have my full blessing to marry her. Thank you, Mr. Claus. That means a lot. Looks like you both are on the nice list. And do you take Jared Frost to be your husband? I do. Well then, I now pronounce you officially Mr. and Mrs. Frost. Jared, what did I tell you about making it snow inside the house? Uh, babe, this isn't me. But if you're not using your powers, then... No way! Looks like baby Crystal has taken up after me. You need a job, girl. Yeah, I know. I only have $20 in my account. You know that nanny app? Yeah. Apparently some billionaire is looking for a nanny. Let me see. He's kind of cute. It says he wants them to be CPR certified, have five years of experience with working with kids, and a college degree. All things I don't have. But he doesn't know that. Stacy, no, we are not faking documents. You need money, honey. <laughs> don't. Don't give me that look. Wow, this is amazing. Your resume is just outstanding. Thank you. When can you start? Oh, I'm free to start whenever you like. <laughs> All right, okay, here you go. I'm gonna give you your first paycheck right now. I got two other kids right there. Say hi, girls. This is your new nanny. Hi. Can she cook? Oh, well, actually... Yeah, her resume says she can cook anything. Since you're a chef, can you make a sushi? Yeah, whatever you girls want. Yay. Yes! Hi, I just want to order some sushi, but I need it delivered out back. <laughs> Don't you dare snitch on me. 
Mmm, this is so good. Well, I'm glad you like it. Daddy used to cook for us, but now he's too busy with his job. Yeah. You know, what is your dad's job anyway? <laughs> We're not allowed to say. Who made this? Oh, that would be me. Hi, I'm the new nanny. And who are you? I'm Darren's girlfriend, and I'm allergic to sushi. Throw this away. Just go in the other room. It's not bothering you. Ow! Hey! <laughs> it's fine, honey. Darren gave me permission to discipline the girls. Are you okay? I have to tell your dad about that. Don't bother. He- he won't believe you. She acts different around him. Excuse me, sir. Lucy, hey. This is for you for being so great today. Now if you'll excuse me- Is that a gun? Is that a gun? Oh, you weren't supposed to see that. <laughs> Why do you have that? What is your job? Listen, Lucy, if you're gonna work for me, there's some questions that are off limits, and that's one of them. Excuse me? No, I want to know that I'm safe here. You are very safe with me, Lucy. I promise. Actually, sir, I came up here to talk to you about your girlfriend. What about me? Hey, babe. Hey, baby. Yeah, what about her? I was just gonna say that she's gorgeous. Darren already knows that. Don't you, babe? He didn't listen, did he? No, not really. I told you. Listen, girls, don't worry. I'm gonna find a way to expose her. No, baby. He's just a job. You're the one that I love. We'll talk later, okay? Bye. Lucy, you didn't hear anything. Oh, but I did. No, you didn't. That's a lot of money, huh? It can all be yours. If you keep your mouth shut. Don't tell Darren about my man, and the money's yours. You have a deal. Perfect. And then the fairy lived happily ever after. The end. Thank you for reading the book. I always wanted my mommy to read it. May I ask what happened to your real mommy? I don't know my real mommy or daddy. We were all in foster care before this, but Darren adopted us. But I love you, Lucy, because you're like a real mommy to me. Yeah. I love you girls, too. Then tell him I'm gonna make him an offer he can't refuse. And you better give me my money by tonight. Does this guy work for the Mafia or something? Hey, Lucy. Oh, I got, I got it. it. Uh, huh, you know, you got really nice- Hey, babe, guess what? Your nanny is a fake. The college she graduated from doesn't exist. I can explain. I don't like liars, Lucy. She lied about everything on her resume. Pack your stuff right now and get out. I told you to go. She needs to be fed. I can take care of that. Sir, please don't fire me. I know I shouldn't have lied about my resume, but I do care about your girls. And if you fire me, they're gonna be heartbroken. The kids will be fine, Lucy. Well, then you should know that your girlfriend is cheating on you. What are you talking about? She's lying. I heard her on the phone in the closet. She paid me not to say anything. I did not. You lied to me once, you're probably lying to me again. But sir- You're fired, hun. Get over it. Give me the baby. No. Lucy. It's okay. Lucy, where are you going? I'm so sorry. I'll be taking that money back. <laughs> It'll be okay? No, it's not gonna be okay. I failed them. Ugh, his girlfriend is so evil. No, baby, he's just a job. You're the one that I love. I think she's out to get his money. Huh? The kids are in danger. I have to go help them. Where's daddy? Sorry, honey, but daddy's getting interrogated right now. <laughs> I have to get in there. Hey, where do you think you're going? Hey, boss, look who I found. Well, well. <laughs> it's gonna be okay. Yes, girls, stop struggling. Everything will be fine. For me. Actually, no, it's not. Because I may not be a chef or have graduated from college, but there's one thing that I didn't put on my resume that's uh, about to come in real handy right now. And what's that? <laughs> How did you- I'm a black belt in Taekwondo, bitch. Lucy. Girls. <laughs> it's okay. Lucy, is everyone alright? Yeah, Lucy saved us. You're hurt. I'm fine. Thank you. Daddy, does this mean that Lucy can stay? Yeah, I just hope she can forgive me for being so. Now they have to get married. Yeah, or at least give her a raise, Dad. <laughs> Maybe I'll do both. Get adopted by a race car driver or a billionaire? I'd be kind of scared something would happen to the race car driver, so I'm gonna go with billionaire. Who'd you pick to get adopted by? Oh, I chose a billionaire. You got that as an option? 
My choices were a garbage man or a teacher. That is so not fair. Whoever it is is gonna think she's weird anyways. She'll be brought back. This is the man who's gonna adopt you. Hi. Hi, nice to meet you. First things first, you're gonna need some of these. What are these for? A lot of paparazzi follow Mr. Knight. I'm his assistant. Hi, I suggest you put those on now. Mr. Knight, is this your new daughter? This way, darling. Your house is really nice, sir. Aw, oh, thank you. What's that? This is a list of things that I wanted to do with my new parents. Are you married? Actually, sorry kid, no, I'm not married. That's okay, I'll just adjust some things. I don't know about this. People are loving that you adopted her, and as soon as they write enough good articles, we'll bring her back to the adoption center. Good morning, you look sad. Well, it's just that I can't find any of the clothes that I brought with me. Oh, darling, that's because I threw them away. What? Why would you- They were hideous. We can't have you wearing orphan clothes. But- Hush, follow me. Oh, this is much better. But the dress is a little bit short. You're 16, not 6. Now hand that thing over. No! What's going on in here? Mr. Knight, your assistant, she's trying to take away my plush. Susan? She needs to act her age. Please don't let her, Mr. Knight. This is really special to me. She's too old for it. It has to go- <gasps> No! Don't be so dramatic, dear. You'll be fine. Smile, Madeline. We're going to do a photo shoot. Smile bigger! Stop the cameras. That's enough pictures. Here, Madeline, look what I found. How about we do something on your list today? I saw you wrote down Disneyland. Wanna do that? Okay. It's beautiful, isn't it? Psst, kid, here. Thank you. Madeline, we need to talk. Mr. Knight doesn't have time to be taking you places. He said that he had fun spending time with me, and that I can keep this. Oh, is that so? Don't make me send you back to that- Susan, I need your help. Coming, sir. What's next on the list today, kid? Are you sure you have time? Yeah, I need a little break from work anyways. Well, I always wanted to go to a science museum. Alright, science museum it is. Susan, prepare a driver for us, please. Of course. Have a good time? Yes, it was so much fun. <laughs> it really was. I'm sorry if I'm too much of a distraction for you. Kid, you're not a distraction. In fact, I think you're exactly what I needed in my life. Okay, you rest now and I'll see you in the morning. Good night. Sir, the paparazzi got you at the science museum today. And so many articles have been written- I don't care about the articles anymore. What? Shh. I'm not gonna use a kid to get me more publicity. The plan's off. But sir, guess I'll just have to get rid of you myself. And I know just what to do. I found someone from your real family. You did? Yes, dear, your Uncle Nick. I don't remember an Uncle Nick. He'll explain everything, darling. He's here. So you're her mom's brother? Yeah. How did you find me? You're all over the news. I know you probably don't recognize me. Your mom didn't really talk about me much, but I'd like to adopt you. I'm happy here with Mr. Knight. Madeline, don't be rude. At least give him a chance. I don't want to push anything, so how about you live with me for a week, and if you don't like it, I'll bring you right back here. Uh, okay. Yeah, that sounds good to me. Oh, perfect. You call me on this phone if you need anything, okay? I will. Thank you. Of course. Come here, kid. I bought you some candy. Susan tells me it's your favorite. Thanks. We'll be at my place soon. Is it good? Why do you have that stuffed animal? Oh, uh, one of my best friends from foster care gave it to me. You don't look so good. Are you feeling okay? No, not really. Hey, it's me. The candy worked. She's half out of it now. Excellent. Alright, time to come inside. Come on. Finally, I can take this from her. So what do we do with her now? Well, she's already got Mr. Knight all the publicity he needs, so she's no longer of use to me. Susan, what's going on? Oh, Madeline, isn't it obvious? I'm getting you away from Mr. Knight. He's mine. Mr. Knight is gonna find me. He's not gonna look for you, because Susan's been telling him that you're fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, darling, but I need to be the focus of Mr. Knight's life, not you. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Everything's fine, sir. I want to talk to her. Ah, uh, sorry, she just fell asleep. Thanks to this brat, Mr. Knight is getting suspicious. You're not gonna get away with this. Mr. Knight is gonna find me. <gasps> it's him. Stay calm. I will handle it. Mm, so I can assure you, everything is fine. Help! Wait, don't open that- Madeline? I'm sorry, sir, but you're supposed to be in love with me, not her. You're my assistant. But I wanted to be more than that. You're insane. Both of you, get back. 
Susan and your fake uncle have both been arrested. I thought I'd never see you again. I am so sorry this happened, Madeline. But I promise, as your father, I'll protect you from now on. Father? So, you still want to adopt me? Aw, oh, kid, of course. I mean, after all, we've got that list to finish, right? And look what I found. I love you, Dad. Madeline, I... I love you too. Cringe. Whoops. Excuse me, bruh. You're excused, and I'm not your bruh. Oh, oh, damn. Hey, babe. Oh, Mickey, you're so fine. So fine, you blow my mind. <laughs> <laughs> Aw, look, Madeline and Steve are flirting. I ship it. I'm getting a perfect score on my SAT. Yeah, let's make a deal. Girl, be for real. Rude. I just have to study every single day leading up until the SATs. I got this. Bro's really out here trying to pep talk herself. <laughs> These big paper textbooks are not it. Shh, this is silent reading. Not me wanting to drop this class. Hey, is it weird that I think this teacher's kind of hot? Only in Ohio. Honey, I got the job I wanted. The Waffle House has found its new host. What? How many words, honey? I got a hundred. Remember, you have to use them by midnight or you die. I got this, I know, I'll be fine. Ugh, crap, I barely talked at all today at school. I still have 50 words left and it's almost midnight. I have an idea. This one is for the boys with the booming system, top down AC with the cooling system. <laughs> boom, ba -dum, boom, 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 super bass. All words used. How many words today, hun? Zero? Wow, you lucky girl, have fun. You really got zero words to use up today? Well, girl, I got a lot of words I gotta use up, so you can just listen to me talk. So, they all thought my score was fake. You're listening, right? Okay, good. So, then my boyfriend was like, I am so sorry to do this, hun. I just can't handle all these words. Why would you do that? There is three hours till midnight. I can't use up 10,000 words. There's something you need to know about me. There is three hours until midnight. I cannot use up 10,000 words. There's something you should know. I'm not actually your mom. Am I adopted? <laughs> no, your real mom has been taken. I'm your mom's twin. Wait, what? Where is my mom? She was sent somewhere to be killed. You're lying. I'm sorry, it's because she didn't use up all her words. No. And thanks to me, you'll be taken away soon too. My sister and I have a bad past. I'm just getting revenge. I work for the system, so if you can use up all your words by midnight, I'll let you save her. Okay, fine. Then I'll start by cussing you out, you maniacal little bit. No way you're finishing by midnight. I have a better idea. And they both lived happily ever after the end. I still have 380 words left, and there's 20 minutes until midnight. I am sick of reading. Wait, that rap song that Daniel Radcliffe did on the Jimmy Fallon show. I can do that. Artificial amateurs aren't at all amazing. Analytically, I... Take that, challengers, get a tune up. Universal. Zigzag zombies zoom into the zenith. In other news, today marks 16 years since billionaires Mr. and Mrs. Connor's baby daughter went missing. Wait, that baby kind of looks like me. If you have any information, we urge you to call this number. That can't be me. I'm just being delusional. We should give her back now. The reward is $1 million. But how do we get the reward money for her without them knowing we took her in the first place? Shh, let's talk about it over here. The number on the TV, they said to call it if... If you have any information, we urge you to call this number. I need a phone. I'll have to take mom and dad's. No, I just gotta call this number. No, I just gotta call this number. Oh, what the hell was that? <gasps> you wanna tell us why you were in our room? And why my phone is cracked? I, um... I didn't think you guys saw me. I was just, um... What is this? <sighs> she knows we're not her parents. She was trying to call the number on the news, huh? Well, you know what? It's about time she found out. Surprised it took her this long. I mean, how could she never question how we all have different hair and eyes and why we never let her on social media? I mean, come on. You two are sick and I'm leaving. No, you're not. Now turn. We gotta make you look pretty for your billionaire mommy and daddy. They'll be so happy. And the final touch, a little bow. Aw, babe, isn't she so cute? Your birth parents are offering a big reward for you, so you better not mess this up. Now, get into that box, and no talking. Now, get into that box, and no talking. Richard, what in heavens did you order? This box is not from... Me. What is going on? Read the note. It'll explain everything. Your prayers have been answered. Here is your biological daughter. 
We have to send the one million dollar reward to this number or you die? Yes, so please just wire it to them right now and I'm so sorry about all of this. Darling, this doesn't sound right. I think we ought to just call the police. Yes, darling, I agree. No, please, no police. I, I can prove to you that I'm your real daughter. I know how much is in your bank accounts. It's two billion exactly. How do you know that? Because I picked to see how much money were in my parents' bank account. It says if we don't send it, she will die. What if she is our daughter? Can you please just send them the money? No, I have to call the police. I'm not sending anyone money. I have to call the police. Wait. No. We have to get her to a hospital. Doctor, is she going to be okay? Ma'am, we can't have you in here. Mr. and Mrs. Connors, we have some good news. She's going to be okay, and we did the blood test as you requested, and it does look like she is your biological daughter. Richard, did you hear that? I can't believe it. Hi, darling. Don't worry. Everything is all right. Those horrible people have been put in prison. What's going to happen to me now? We're going to take care of you, love. You are? Yes, we, um, we found out you're actually our daughter. I knew it. We never stopped looking for you. Your father and I missed you so much. We love you. Hey, what's the matter? No one's ever told me that before. Well, we'll be telling you that every day, love. Now you get some rest. And we'll be here when you wake up. Call me Steven. Uh, okay. So, wait, you're not gonna tell my mom? Nah, I won't tell her a thing. That is, as long as you don't tell her about this. Consider it my little gift to you. Why are you giving me this? I saw your future, sweetheart. Sir... Steven. Steven, I was tricked into making that my future. Wait, so you don't want to be a sugar baby? No, thank you. Ah, uh, well, here's my personal number in case you change your mind. Guys, bad news. I think my future's coming true. Wait, where's mom? She's at the store. What is all that? I just found all these unpaid bills. Mom's been going bankrupt paying for my college. And we're gonna lose the house. Wait, what? I have to drop out. But your dream is to become a doctor. Guess that dream's over. No, Lizzie, don't, okay? I can get the money. How? By making my future come true. What is that? This is the phone number to my principal, Principal Richards. Your principal's trying to be your sugar daddy? Well, when you put it like that, it sounds bad, but hypothetically, yes. Hand that over! No, give that to me, okay? This is our only ticket to making sure that you get to become the doctor of your dreams and that we don't lose this house. This is crazy. Look, you're the one that tricked me into getting this future in the first place. I am just trying to put it to some use. I don't like this. Shut up. Hello, this is Steven. Hi, Steven. It's me. Oh, hey, sweetie. Did you change your mind? Uh, yeah, I did. Great, because I wanted to see if you would go somewhere with me. Wait, how much are all the bills? Uh, like around $5,000. Okay, I will do it if you pay me $5,000. Uh, yeah, that works for me. I'll pick you up at 7. Okay, bye. <laughs> oh my god. Girls? I'll pick you up at 7. Okay, bye. Girls, where are you? You have to cover for me while I go on that date. No, you have to. I'm not gonna- There you are. Do you girls want some dinner? Actually, I was gonna go out with a friend tonight. Oh, really? Is that okay? Well, I don't know. Elizabeth, what do you think? Should I let her go? It is a school night. Ugh, but I think she'll be fine. Be back no later than 10. Okay, I will. Thanks, Mom. You owe me big time. I don't like this. Relax, this is a one-time thing. I'm gonna get the money, say I don't feel good, he'll have to take me home, then I'll never talk to him again. Hi. Hey, beautiful. Got your money right here. I'm excited for tonight. Um, there's only $20 in here. Darn, I brought the wrong envelope. Mind if I go back home? Uh, sure. Just wait right here, I'll be right back. Warning wanted kidnapper on loose. That's him. Signal lost. No, come on, please. This can't be happening. Okay, I'm back. Sorry that took so long. Hey, what's the matter? Why did you lock that door? I didn't lock the door. It probably just got stuck. Here, I got you this. What is that? It's your money. 5k exact. No, I don't want the money anymore. Please, I just want to go home. Relax. Everything's okay. Why is there no signal down here? This house has horrible reception, but I could fix it. Let me see your phone. Wait, no. Well, how about I just fix some of these wires down here and, hey, that should do it. <sighs> Shit. You, uh, weren't supposed to see that. 
Please don't hurt me. Don't worry, you're safe here with me, sweetheart. This is your new home now. 911, oh. what's your emergency? Yes, hi, I need help, I... Hello? Signal lost. No. You really shouldn't have done that. Uh, let me go, why are you doing this? The day you came to my school, I fell in love with you. You remind me of my wife. What? Yes, I haven't been the same since she passed. And unfortunately, the last girl I brought here escaped, so I think the police are after me. But this basement's pretty hidden, so I think we'll be safe. Well, I'm actually kind of thirsty, so... Do you think you could get me some water? Of course. Anything for you. I'll be right back. Bria! Elizabeth? How did you- Shh! Mom put a tracker in your phone case. Oh, I knew this guy was bad news. Don't worry, the cops are on their way. What do you think you're doing? Come here! Uh, eat peppers for you, creep! Oh, my eyes! Your principal is now in custody, okay? Don't you ever do anything like that again! I know, I'm sorry. I was just trying to help you save the house. I know, sweetheart. But we are suing that principal. I really hope we win the lawsuit. I think it's safe to say we're gonna win. Big time. <laughs> Mommy, what's this? You can either be dating or married at 20. Oh, well, I want to be married. That's very young. I know, but I want to be just like Cinderella and marry my Prince Charming. I'm definitely going to have to set up an arranged marriage for her. Mommy, this just came on my finger and it's not coming off. That's what happens when you pick the married option. You may not remove the bandage until you turn 20 years old. Talk to any cute princess tonight? No, ever since this appeared on me, no princess will talk to me. Dang. They're probably just afraid of marriage. Yeah, I guess. If they won't talk to you, that's their loss. Thanks. Wait, you have one of these too. Oh, yeah. How did I never notice that? I guess since I'm a guard, you just don't pay attention to me. <laughs> you can remove your band-aid. I know, I'm so nervous. I can't wait to see what prints I get. Happy birthday, you can take your band-aid off. I know, I'm so nervous. I can't wait to see what prints I get. Remember, it'll be their first initial. It's an S. But wait, I don't know any princes whose names start with the letter S. Good thing I made an arrangement. What kind of an arrangement? Marriage, of course. I found you a very handsome prince. Does his name start with the letter S? Well, no. Then he's not my soulmate. Happy birthday, Violet. What's wrong? My mom. She's forcing me to get married tomorrow. To someone who's not your soulmate? Yeah, Sam, maybe you can talk to her. She thinks really highly of you. I mean, I'm just a guard, but I'll see what I can do. Wait a minute. Sam? S? He could be my soulmate. Sorry, your mom didn't listen. Never mind that. Sam, when do you get to remove your bandage? Actually, my birthday is tomorrow. No, you need to remove it right now. Huh? Why right now? Because I think you and I might be soulmates. No way. I think you and I might be soulmates. No way. Please, just take off the bandage. Violet, I can't. It won't come off until I turn 20. All right, fine. But you better tell me first thing in the morning. I promise. I will. Your future husband has arrived. Actually, Mom, I really need to speak to Sam. Nonsense! You must not keep the prince waiting. Now come on. Hello, princess. Is that an S on your finger? Yes, it's the first letter of my soulmate's name. Well, just so you know, when we're married, I will have that removed. It's literally ingrained on my finger. Then I guess you'll be losing that finger. <gasps> Mom, I am not marrying that prince. He is evil. What? Your guard, Sam, he's... He's what? He's... Dead, sweetheart. I'm so sorry. Sam can't be dead. I just talked to him the- Sam! You're alive? Yes, you- you won't believe what happened. Your mom, she poisoned me with a sleeping potion. What? But somehow, the spell was broken. True love's kiss. Mom, how could you? I- You said you wanted to marry a prince. Oh, so you two were plotting together. Well, we couldn't let you marry that scum, now could we? See, the thing is, Daniel, I'd rather marry a guard than a selfish, cowardly prince. I was wrong, darling. Please forgive me. Then let me marry Sam. And maybe we can talk about forgiveness. Yes, Violet, you have my blessing. Well, then what about me? You? You wanted to have my finger removed. Oh, yes, I did say that. <laughs> did he really say that, Violet? You know, as the princess's guard, it's my job to protect her from harm. Oh, please, you don't scare me. <gasps> really? Because you look a little scared to me, Daniel. I suggest you run now. Yes, sir. I've been meaning to ask you this for a long time. Violet, will you marry me? Yes. <laughs> I always had a feeling you and I were soulmates, Violet. Sorry you didn't get your Prince Charming. It's okay. I got something better.
hear everything my soulmate says, or taste everything my soulmate eats. The first one sounds kind of distracting, so I'll just go with the food option. Here's your coffee. Oh my gosh, thank you. Of course, sweetie. What's wrong? What was in that? Just coffee. It literally tasted like a raw egg. Soulmate was eating breakfast. Ew, gross. He has raw eggs for breakfast? Oh. Today, we'll be reading... Yes? I'm just really feeling sick right now. Go ahead and go to the bathroom. Mm. I'm pretty sure whatever he ate was straight out of a garbage can. Hey, is my lip bleeding? No, why? I started to taste blood. Oh, maybe your soulmate is a vampire. <laughs> hey, your brother got into a fight. What? Yeah, follow me. Oh, oh. Josh, stop! What is your problem? This guy over here was hitting on you. That doesn't give you the right to do that. Get out of the way. Are you okay? Yeah, it's just my lip. Aspen, you're supposed to be wearing your glove. I... It was my fault. Did you burn her glove? It was an accident. You are to never see this boy again. Gods, take her to her room. Yes, your majesty. Here, I got you a new one. What is with all the secrets? What is wrong with this letter? And why couldn't I talk to that guy? Cover that mark, I don't want to look at it. There are some secrets that are meant to be kept. You obviously don't understand that. Oh, and you're grounded for not listening to me. Ugh. She's still treating me like I'm five years old. This whole thing about my letter is ridiculous. Did I do that? I think I did, but how do I make it stop? Do I have powers? I brought you food, princess. And I brought the soulmate handbook. Don't let the queen see you reading it. I won't. Thank you. F stands for fire, which is the power the male soulmate will possess. My gloves on fire. Wait, so he has fire powers and I have ice? Aspen. You've been locked in your room for a while. I just wanted to check on you. Your hand is freezing. Really? I didn't even notice. Mm-hmm. Well, has anything strange happened to you today? No. But actually, Mom, I'm pretty tired, so I'm gonna... Yes, by all means, get your rest. Keep a close eye on her, please. Yes, Your Majesty. Mom? Princess. <gasps> Shh, hey, it's okay. You know me. I'm the guy from the ball. How did you get onto my balcony? This is gonna sound crazy, but I used my fire powers to fly up here, and I think you and I are... Soulmates. I know. I read the soulmate handbook, and this F apparently stands for fire, which are your powers, but the only problem is, I think I have ice powers. Whoa, you're kidding. Well, you know what they say. Opposites, Opposites attract. I say we kiss and see what happens. Wait. We should kiss and see what happens. Uh, wait. What's wrong? I don't know. All of a sudden, I just started to not feel good. I know why. Mom? Mm-hmm. How long have you been listening in? Long enough to know your powers have come in. You knew? Why didn't you ever tell me? Because your powers mean you and your soulmate can never be together. You're lying. I am telling the truth. If you kiss him, you will die. No, we're supposed to be together. See? Fire and ice don't mix. Get rid of him. Oh, no! <laughs> Wait! Let's go, princess. Stop fighting me. There. Those gloves will not be coming off. Princess? Go away. No, please wait. I want to help you. I know how to get those special gloves off. Let me see your hands. Aspen, I escaped. What are you doing? Proving to you that you and I can be together. What are you doing? Proving to you that you and I can be together. Your Highness, I'm not so sure that was a good idea. She's fine. Right, Aspen? Princess? No! Please, Aspen, don't do this to me. I think your powers were too strong for her. She still has a pulse. There has to be something I can do to save her. True love's kiss. It could awaken her. But you'd have to give up your powers. If it means saving her, I'll do it. If you drink this potion, your fire powers will be gone forever. Please work. Princess! Princess! I can't believe you sacrificed your powers for me. Aspen, you're more important to me than any of my powers could be. Aspen, I was wrong. I had no idea your soulmate was so selfless. Please forgive me. Okay, Mom, I forgive you, but you have to promise me no more secrets. Yes, I promise you. Hey, our soulmate letters are gone. I wonder what that means. How many did you get? <gasps> 5,000! Wow, baby! This year, I'll be able to talk to you a lot, Daddy. Actually, honey, I have to go on a business trip, but we can talk when I get back, okay? 
Mommy, it's been two weeks. Haven't you heard from Daddy yet? No, honey. I, I think something might have happened to your father. Mommy? Your mom needs surgery, but she doesn't have enough words to pay for it. I can pay with mine. Are you sure? It's gonna cost a lot of words. So, is my mommy all better now? Sweetheart, we tried all we could. Your mom didn't make it. We tracked down one of your relatives. This is your Aunt Hilda. Hello. She has a lot of words she can give to you. She'll need to earn them. Did you finish all of your chores today? Good. Here you go. Only three? You're lucky I gave you that. Take out the trash. It's not my fault you didn't get words this year. <sighs> no. This looks like a letter from my... Did you finish all of your chores today? Good. Here you go. Only three? You're lucky I gave you that. Take out the trash. It's not my fault you didn't get words this year. <sighs> no. This looks like a letter from my dad. What was this doing in the trash? Ella, what is in your... Give me that! Get back! How dare you look through my trash, you nosy little child! Oh, what? You want me to give you more words now, hmm? Well, that won't be happening, and this letter isn't from your father, it's from someone pretending to be him. If you go through my trash one more time, you'll never get another word from me again. You missed a spot, Ella. <laughs> I'm going to take a nap. You keep cleaning. See you later. Now's my chance to find the letter. This has to be real. Aunt Hilda tricked him into giving all of his words to her, and now he's stranded? This whole time I thought he was dead. I have to help him, but I need words. I have to help him, but I need words. Where are you off to? What are you- Oh, today's the first day of school. Well, have fun making friends with no words. <laughs> Bye, Ella. Sorry, I can't help you. I'm late for work, kid. Excuse me. This isn't working. Hey, that old lady looks like she's about to- Oh! Thank you, dear. I almost fell over. What's your name, dear? Oh, you don't have any words, do you? Well, I have plenty to spare. Here you go. Thank you. You have no idea how much this means to me. Of course, honey. Use them wisely. What's that smirk on your face all about? Excuse me. I'm making dinner. Do you want some? No, thank you. How did you... Who gave you words? You know what? Let me see that notebook, you secretive little child. Will work for words? You thought you could lie to me? Think again. How could you not tell me my father was alive? He writes to you every year, you know. And I always throw his letters in the fire, but this year I got a little sloppy and put it in the trash. Why would you steal words from him? He's your own brother. He had millions of words and would never share with me, and neither would your mother, which is why I had to get rid of her. What? Your mother's surgery didn't go well for a reason. Look, I needed you to become an orphan. Why? So legally I could control your words. You are sick, but I have a lot of words and I'm going to send them to my father. <laughs> Go ahead. He needs at least 3,000 to come home. Well, that's perfect because I have just enough. What? Well, then I can't have you doing that. Thanks to your big mouth, you'll be staying in this attic until further notice. Dad? It's me, honey. I got your words. I missed you so much, Ella. Your Aunt Hilda has been arrested, but are you okay? I am now. It's what my dad would want. You picked the prince, right? Of course. Good, because I'm not having you marry a pirate. They can't be trusted. Dad was a pirate, and you married him. We don't speak of your father. You know that. Marianne, why do you have the pirate's mark? I don't know. Girl, don't lie to me. All right, fine, I picked the pirate, but I don't know why everyone is so afraid of them. They seem kind of cool. I don't think I can be friends with you. What? Why? Because I'm not going to be associated with someone who wants to marry a pirate. They're dangerous, and now that you have that mark, they're going to come for you. Mom, I'm home. Mom? <gasps> Hello. We're looking for a girl with the pirate's mark. Take off that cloak. We're looking for a girl with the pirate's mark. Take off that cloak. I don't think that's... The captain wasn't asking. I knew it. I could sense her mark. Take her to the ship, boys. Yes, captain. Wait, what? Welcome aboard the ship, the Blue Pearl. Legend says when you touch your soulmate, your mark will disappear. So let's see which one of us gets to marry you. Raise your sword if you think the girl is your soulmate. All right, make a line. 
Hello, miss. Let's see if it's me. Ah, uh, but that's all of us. What about him? Father, do you think I could try? I told you to stay below deck. Ignore my son. He's no pirate. Wait, where'd you get that necklace? My father? Captain, doesn't that look just like the one that the- The Pirate King had. Tell me, what is your father's name? You know what, I can already tell you're his daughter, which means you're the lost pirate princess. I can already tell you're his daughter, which means you're the lost pirate princess. My father was a pirate, but he wasn't a king. Why do you speak of him in past tense? Because he's dead. Who told you that? My mother. I see. So she was the sea witch who took you away. Don't call her that. She said she wanted to protect me from him. No, your father wanted you to have a royal life. And she wanted you to have a normal one. At least that's what he told me. Wait a minute, you knew my father? Yes, we were great friends. Why don't I take you to him? You would do that? Of course. After all, you are royal blood. Princess, you have to get off the ship. Right now. What? Why? Because my father lied to you. He's not taking you to see your father, him, and all the other crewmates. They're cursed. The only way to break the curse is to sacrifice a royal. He wants to kill me. I want to help you, but we have to jump off the ship. Your mark, it's gone. That means I'm your... Well, soulmates. I don't even know your name. Oh, right. My name is William. I have a canoe we can escape Not in. so fast. You take my son. I'll take the girl. No! William! Where are we? We're on Skull Island, Princess. In the exact spot we were all cursed. How much of my blood do you need? To break the curse, we need all of it. Father, no! You stay away from my daughter. Dad? I told you he was alive. Take all of his crewmates into custody. Turn around. Wait, I was trying to help her! No, wait. Spare him, please. That's my soulmate. Gods, leave him. Yes, your majesty. Dad, I thought that you were dead. How did you find me? I gave you that necklace for a reason, love. It's a tracker. I see you chose to remain a princess. Well, Marianne, would you still like to marry a pirate? Yes. How would you like to be married? The itsy bitsy spider. Stop! Where did you learn to sing? I don't know, I just saw it on the TV. Honey, you must remember, singing is deadly. The TV is trying to trick you. You must never sing again. Okay, I won't. Going to class? Yeah. And you think you can go without wearing earplugs? Come on. Do I have to wear them? Yes, you never know when someone could start singing. These are lifesavers. Hey, take those out of your ears. Yeah, take them out. My mom says I'm not supposed to take these off. Can I just try them on? Yeah, for a second. Thank you. Yeah, these are trash. Hey! Oh, relax. You'll be fine without them. Bria, I need to see you after class, please. Miss Claremont, if this is about my grade, I... No, dear. This isn't about your grade. What are you doing? Mary had a little lamb. Miss Claremont, lamb. please stop singing. Little lamb, little, little lamb. lamb. Mary, little stop. lamb. Stop. Mary had a little... <gasps> Oh my gosh, what did you do to Miss Claremont? She was trying to kill me. What? what? She would never do that. I am calling the police. Honey, what's the matter? It was awful. Someone took my earplugs and then my teacher tried to kill me. Mm -hmm. What are you doing? rock a -bye, baby. Why are you singing? Hush, little baby. Mama's gonna buy you a mocking. <gasps> Honey? Are you okay? I'm- I'm so sorry. Why would you do that? I- I don't know. It was like something was controlling me. Bria? No, no, stop. Stay with me. Bria, wake up. Honey, please wake up. Mom? I'm here, I'm here. Oh, my ears, they hurt. Oh, so bad. It's gonna be okay, let me just look. I see something. What? There is something in your ear. I'm gonna take it out. No, no, don't. Bria, I have to. It's probably what's causing you the pain. Don't move. Is it out? I got it. This is what was inside of your ear. I think there's one in my ear too. You need to take it out. Fine, just come here. Oh, I got it. Thank goodness. I need to test something. Put those on and sing. No, mom, I don't want to hurt you. It's okay, honey. Sing. The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout 
Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun. Are you okay? I'm fine. It was the chip killing people all along. But who would have put it in all of our ears? Open up. I'm gonna need both of you to come with me. No thanks. <sighs> Mom, did you just kill him? No, he's still alive. We need to question him. Go get the duct tape. There, he's not going anywhere. Ugh. Hey, what are you guys doing? We want to know who you work for and why we found this inside of our ears. Show him. I... I don't know what you're talking about. If you won't talk, we'll sing. Wait, Mom, we can't do that. Yes, we can, honey. We don't have the chips in our ears anymore. It won't hurt us, but it'll hurt him. Just keep your eyes closed. No, hey, wait a minute. Are you... are you... Coming into the tree Where dead men called out For his love to flee Strange oh, Wait, stop, I'll tell you I work for a secret government organization We put chips in everyone's ears and wipe their memories of it By making singing lethal It was a way for us to control the public This is horrible We have to tell everyone Go ahead, honey, we're live. We have all been lied to. The government has been putting these in our ears. That's why singing kills us. But if you take them out, singing will no longer kill anyone and we can be free. We did it, Bria. We're all saved. Grandma, what is that above my head? Those are all your childhood memories, dear. And it looks like you've already made quite a lot of them. Well, that's good because I want to remember all the fun things I did with you. Oh, Annalise, you are so sweet. There is a fire in the castle. We need to get you both out now. Grandma, I'm scared. I don't want to lose you like I lost my parents. Don't worry, dear. We'll be all right. My queen, watch out. The ceiling is collapsing. No! You left your clothes on the floor. Sorry, I just... They pay me to foster you, not to be your maid. Didn't anyone ever teach you to clean up after yourself? Well, you know, even if someone did, I really wouldn't have remembered because I lost all my childhood memories. Yeah, yeah, enough with your sob story. Just clean up. Excuse me, sir. Do you know why there's a bunch of flowers everywhere? Oh, yeah. Those are for the princess. Everyone leaves those for her. Today marks the fifth year of her passing. It's awful what happened to her. Hey, are you okay? I think I just had a memory of me being a princess. Sorry, I know that sounds crazy. A princess? Wait, did something happen to your memories? Yeah, actually, when I was younger, some sort of accident happened to me. I don't remember what, but the doctor told me that I have amnesia. Some people still think the princess is still alive. They do? Yeah, and actually, I'm one of those people. You know, I could take you to the queen if you really think you're the princess. No, that's okay. Uh, I really should be going. At least take my number. If any more of your memories come back, call me. I can't believe that guy thought that I was a princess. My queen, watch out! The ceiling is collapsing! No! no, no. Grandma? She left me. Uh, my head... Hey, I got your voicemail. You got another memory? I think that I am the princess, and I need your help to take me back to the queen. I think that I am the princess, and I need your help to take me back to the queen. The thing is, they won't just let anyone into the castle. We have to convince them that you're royalty. But how would I do that? I have an idea. Come on, we're going shopping. Are you sure this outfit isn't too much? No, I think it's perfect. It shows the queen that you know how to dress like a princess. If you say so. Wait here. The queen will see you in just a moment. Hey, it's gonna be alright. She'll remember you. Grandma, I thought I'd never- See me again. I've heard it all before. Tell me something that only my Annalise would know. Well, I can't exactly do that because a lot of my memories got lost, but I remember you. Stop. My heart can't take this anymore. She's just another girl pretending to be my granddaughter. Take her away. No, please. I came all this way to see you. I'm sure I can remember something. Let's go. A carousel music box. It was blue. You gave it to me. Wait. A carousel music box. It was blue. You gave it to me. Wait. Let her go. I need to get something to show her. This was one of the few things that survived the fire. I had it restored. I bought it as a gift for my granddaughter. You couldn't have known about that unless... It's me, Grandma. Oh, Annalise, it is you. I recognize your eyes. I'm so sorry. I begged the gods to go look for you. It's okay. How are you alive? What happened? I can barely remember. Sweetheart, can you remember anything about what happened to you? What your name is? What your parents' names are? I don't remember anything. 
We have a code red. So you survived the fire and woke up in a hospital with amnesia? I am so sorry, but what's important is we're together now. Grandma, I actually wouldn't have been able to find you if it wasn't for him. Oh, really? What is your name? My name is Eric, Your Majesty. I can't thank you enough, Eric. Why aren't you a handsome young man? Ah, uh, thanks. It is my honor to restore my granddaughter's title of Princess Annalise. Long live the princess. Okay, what'd you get? <gasps> a mermaid. What? I mean, that would explain the pink in her hair. Honey, she's lying. No, it really says that. Shh, that is enough of your nonsense. Hi, pretend mermaid. We know that's not your hair. It is. Okay, let's see. Ow! You probably glued it. Don't lie about your future. I'm not. It really does say that. Mermaids don't exist. Stop trying to get attention. Hey, how was your day? Horrible. No one believes me. <sighs> Honey, there's something I need to tell you. What are you talking about? Your mom and I aren't your real parents. What? We found you as a baby by the beach, and that was in your hands. So, let me get this straight. You found me on the beach as a baby, holding this necklace? Yeah, honey, I know this is a lot to take in. Well, I mean, didn't you look for my parents? They, they could have been around somewhere. We did. We were the only ones at that beach. It was a private beach. But you know, I really do believe your future. And I think your real parents are still out there. Do you really think so? Yeah, I do. I think you should wear the necklace. What is going on? Dad told me the truth about everything. What? We agreed to wait until she was 18. <laughs> no, look, I know now that my future is true, and I think this might be the key to me finding my real parents. Give me that. No more nonsense. But that's mine. As your mother, it belongs to me. He told her everything. I know her transformation is coming. That's why I need you to get over here to help me with her. Get in the car, we're leaving. Wait, what? Hello, nice to meet you, Morlina. What is going on? What is this place? This is my laboratory. I study your kind. My kind? Yes, mermaids, of course. But I thought mermaids didn't exist. Right, Mom? I actually believe your future, honey. You made me feel like I was crazy. I was just trying to protect you. No, I want to go home. But Merlina, look what I have. We just want to help you transform. And you can find your real parents. Do you promise? Yes. We just want to help. So what do you need me to do? Okay, now repeat after me. I wish I was a mermaid. I wish I was a mermaid. It's working. The necklace is magic. Her future is changing. Oh no, you can't breathe? <gasps> you were right, she is the princess. I can't believe she's a princess. This is amazing. Mom, you're awake. How do you know my future? Shh, just rest. I don't feel good. I know, honey. It's because you're still in your mermaid form. It's okay, we got you a tank. Tank? Yes, but in the meantime, we have you hooked up to two IV machines. We just need a few more blood samples. Can you believe mermaids have blue blood? Honey, can you hear me? Dad? Yeah, it's gonna be okay. This has gotta come off. Hey, you feel better, right? Yes, how did you know that would turn me back human? Because your real mother had one just like it. You see, one day I was out fishing, and I noticed a woman asking for help on the shore. She was a mermaid, and after I saved her, we fell in love. She got this magic necklace from her father that she said helped her stay human. But the day I proposed, she left me. Why? Wait, so does that mean you're my real dad? Yeah, I think I am. For many years, I didn't believe it. Because when Sylvia left me, she didn't say why. She was a queen. Wait, what? Why do you say that? My future, it changed a princess after I put on that necklace. Oh my gosh, so your mom was a queen. She must have left me to go back to her people. But I don't understand. If mom left you, then how was I born? Well, I realized something. I think your mom was pregnant when she left me. Because nine months later, I found this on the beach. This was me? <laughs> yep. I think your mom left you there for me so you could have a normal life. But that really wasn't the case. As soon as you learned how to crawl, all you wanted to do was go in the water. You loved anything that had to do with the ocean. And my new wife started to catch on. That's not normal. Where did she get that pink streak? She became obsessed with researching things about you, but she never wanted you to know. That's right, I didn't. 
I'm not letting you ruin my research. You have water powers. Use them. What are you doing? Making sure you don't bother me ever again. <gasps> Merlina, that was amazing. Red alert. We have to go, come on. All right, you got the necklace on. Now wish to be a mermaid. But dad. I'm sorry, but that scientist told too many people about you. You're not safe here anymore. You belong under the sea with your real mom. That's the police. You gotta make the wish now. When you find your mom, tell her I love her. I will never forget you. I'll find a way to see you again. I love you. I wish to be a mermaid. <gasps> mom? No, it can't be. Darling? It's you, my baby. I knew you'd find me. My lost daughter has returned. This has been waiting for you. You are now Princess Merlina. All hail your new mermaid princess. Share the same hair or share the same clothes as my soulmate? I didn't spend two years growing this hair out for it to get ruined. We'll share clothes. Let's hope this prince soulmate of mine has some style. Soulmate's clothes on. A prince would never wear this? Is my soulmate some sort of a lumberjack? Or worse, what if he's... a peasant? What are you wearing? I hate to inform you of this, mother, but these are my soulmate's clothes. Is your soulmate a peasant? Possibly. Absolutely not. You are forbidden to meet this boy. Yes, mother. I need to go out. I can't be seen in this. Why isn't it coming off? You may not remove his outfit. Great. Mother said never to go anywhere without my crown, but today, I can't let anyone know I'm a princess. I really hope I don't get recognized. Oh, shit. I'm so sorry. I swear, I didn't mean to- You have the same outfit as- Me. You're wearing my same clothes, so we must be- Shh. Someone could hear you. I can't have people knowing my soulmate is- A peasant. Who do you think you are? Look at me. Yeah, I'm looking at you. Really look at me? Uh, okay. Ow! I am the princess, you idiot! Wait, you are? Yes, and I have a ball to go to tonight, and I am stuck in your dumb clothes. I need you to do me a favor. Okay, I'm back, and I need you to wear this. You want me to wear a dress? That's not happening. But you have to. I can only wear what you wear. Please. It's not my fault you picked. Hey, come on, don't cry. <sighs> All right, fine, princess. I'll do it. Okay, thank you. Soulmate's clothes changing. Peasant, it worked. My name is Nick, and I can't zip this up. <laughs> Has anyone seen my daughter? My mom's coming. My mom's coming. Go hide in that alleyway. Oh. Hello, mother. I've been looking for you. How are you wearing that dress? What are you talking about? You can only wear what your soulmate wears. Did you disobey me and speak to him? Mother, I would never directly disobey you. The system just had a glitch, and now it looks like I don't have to wear my soulmate's clothes anymore. Okay, then you better be at the ball tonight, and stand up straight. Of course, mother. She seems nice. Yeah, she's, uh, she's something. Listen, princess, I can barely breathe in this dress. I just need 30 minutes to make an appearance, then I'll tell my mom that I feel sick and I'll be out of there. There's a lot of princes at the ball. I can see that. Since you're forbidden to talk to your soulmate, why don't you talk to one of them, honey? Just because you and dad didn't work out doesn't mean that me and my soulmate won't. Excuse me? Go to your room. Fine. Perfect timing, actually. What was that? Nothing. I have to get back to him before he starts ripping this- Soulmate's clothes come- I have to get back to him before he starts ripping this- Soulmate's clothes coming off. Dress. Psst, Nick, you can take this off now, and quickly, because there is a giant hole in the back. Okay, but you realize it's night now. Yeah, and? And I like to sleep shirtless. Okay, well, you can't do that, because that means I would have to sleep without a shirt. <laughs> well, I made a sacrifice for you today, so maybe- Oh! You know what? Just for that comment, you are going to be wearing this robe tonight. Are you serious? Yeah, go change. Hey! <sighs> the things I do for you. Soulmate changing clothes. Much better. How long am I gonna have to keep wearing your clothes? I don't know. As soon as this soulmate thing wears off, I guess. Well, then there's something about me you need to know, princess. There's something about me you need to know. Wait, before you tell me, I just want to say I really appreciate you wearing my clothes for me, and I don't care if you're a commoner. I... I want to be with you. Princess, the queen has been looking for you. I was just- Enough! You're coming with us! Good morning. Mother, about last night. 
Don't worry about it, honey. I've taken care of everything. You no longer need to wear your soulmate's clothes. Look. What did you do? Well, since the king is in charge of the system, I made a deal with him for you to marry his son. Well, that's ridiculous, and I'm not agreeing to that. Honey, the deal has already been made. The prince is on his way. What? It had to be done. No. Yes, you certainly won't be marrying your peasant soulmate. I present to you your fiancé. Hello, princess. But I... Thought that I was a peasant? I only dress like that because I don't like to get recognized. I'm sorry. It's alright. I wanted to tell you, but I'm glad to see that you love me for me. And I love you. Ready for the ghoul school? Yes, and I think my creature name is about to appear, but I already know it's gonna say vampire. Actually, darling... Dad, that's the bus. I gotta go. I don't want to be late. Welcome to class. Today we'll be learning about the rarest type of creature. Does anyone know what it is? Isn't the rarest one a mermaid? No, dear. It's a fairy. But aren't fairies extinct? No. Legend says there's only two left in the whole world. That is why all creatures here must get a DNA check. What would happen if one of the students here was a fairy? They would be taken for experimentation, but we've never found a fairy before. <laughs> Next in line. Hmm, your facial structure is very unique. Okay, open for the DNA test. We need your DNA. Wait, I... I feel sick. You look fine. No, really, I feel like I could just ugh, throw up at any second. Okay, you can have a pass for today. But you'll have to get the DNA check tomorrow. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Thanks. Dad, you've got some explaining to do. My creature name just appeared, and it says fairy. Oh, darling, I knew this day would come. So I'm not a vampire like you? Well, no, you're not. I knew it! You told me my fangs weren't coming in because I was a late bloomer, but I knew there was another reason. So I guess this means you're not actually my dad. No, I adopted you. Well, apparently fairies are the most rarest creature. Please tell me you didn't take the DNA test. No, I didn't. I told them that I was feeling sick, but they said I have to take it tomorrow. This is very... <gasps> what? Darling, look! <gasps> what do I do? Well, a fairies can control their wings. Try to make them disappear. Are they gone? Oh, yes, they're gone. Darling, you must control your wings at school. But I don't know if I can. You have to, or they will take you away for experimentation. There you are. It's time for the DNA check. I'm still not feeling well. You have to take it. I should really be getting to class. You can't go to class until you take the test. Hold still. We're taking a hair sample instead. Ow. See, that wasn't so bad. We'll have your results shortly. Go to class. Hey, Luna. Oh, hey, Gulia. What's the matter? You seem really sad. I'm a little bit worried about something. Oh, well, you can trust me. What's bothering you? Well... Attention, students. Will Luna Black please come to the front office? You guys wanted to see me? We got your DNA results. We need you to come with us. What? Take her away, boys. No. You really thought you could hide from us. Let me see your arm. This won't hurt a bit. Since you're one of the last fairies, we need to do research on your blood. Uh, don't be such a baby. Doctor, I think you may have taken too much blood. Let me see. She still has a pulse. She's fine. We need the pixie dust from her blood. Time to wake up. I feel really weak. That's because all your pixie dust is now in this necklace. You'll be dead soon. What? Yes, I'm afraid we've drained all your power. And fairies can't survive without their pixie dust. I'm sorry, dear, I can't hear you. <laughs> Dad? Luna, I had a feeling they would take you. It will be okay. I'm going to get you out of here. Hey, what do you think you're doing? You are the reason there's no more fairies left in this school. Wait! Oh. Quickly, take off that necklace. Now put on this one, darling, to restore your fairy power. Luna, quickly, take off that necklace. Now put on this one, darling, to restore your fairy power. Luna? No. Please, work. Darling, are you alright? Yes, thank you. Of course, darling. I will always protect you. I'm sorry I'm not your real dad. Even though we might not be related by blood, you're always gonna be my dad. Oh, darling, thank you. I love you so much, Luna. I love you too. Well, I think it's time we leave this place. I know somewhere safe we can hide away and live. Red alert! What do we do? Well, we both have wings. Oh, yeah. Let's fly. Come on, let's go.
Let's see your mark for the movie. You got the part for the movie. Are you serious? <laughs> yes, congratulations. Where are you going? I'm just gonna meet up with a couple friends from school. Is that okay? <sighs> yeah, all right. Just don't be too long. So another question we have is, do you have any allergies? I mean, the only thing that I'm allergic to is peanuts, but other than that... Allergic to peanuts. Got it. We start filming next week. Okay, thank you. Your mark is showing. Cover it up. I'm not gonna cover up my mark anymore. Excuse me? And why is that? Because it might just be coming true. What are you talking about? I got cast as one of the leads in a movie. They start filming next week. I don't really care what you have to say. I'm gonna go. My daughter is gonna be a lead in a movie? Congrats! This is amazing! Did you like the dinner? Yeah, it was really good, and I'm glad you're supporting me now. Well, I should probably get to studying my lines, so... Actually, no. You won't be doing anything. I'm sorry, honey. I think I put peanuts in the food. What? Whoops. Clumsy me. <laughs> I can't breathe. You're having an allergic reaction. Please. Everything will be fine. Ugh, you should have listened. I was supposed to get the famous mark, not you. Ma'am, what happened to her? I don't know. Get her on the gurney. Her pulse is dropping. Ma'am, it's a miracle. Your daughter has survived. Wait, what? Excuse me, ma'am. After investigating this situation, you're under arrest. What? No, get off of me. I'm innocent. This just in, mother puts peanuts in- Tara? Yes, this is her. The director wants to speak with you. Hello, Tara. Look, with all the news that's going on with my mom, I can understand if you don't want me in your movie anymore. No, no, that's not why I wanted to speak with you. You see, I believe you have that mark for a reason, and I want you in my movie. And I'd like to help you book more movies, if that's okay. Please, hold my baby. I'll be right back. Ma'am, I... It's been like an hour. Where is your mom? It's freezing out here. I don't think your mom's coming back. Hey, mom. Honey, whose baby is that? Don't freak out, but some lady told me to hold her baby and she never came back. <gasps> How awful. We better call CPS or something. No, no, I, I want to keep her. Honey, are you sure you're ready to take care of a baby? Yeah, you know what? I think I am. <coughs> it's not going to be easy. I know, mom. I'm going to take good care of her. Look, Mom, I'm winning! Oh, honey, how fun! Hang on, I think there's someone at the door. I'll be right back. I... Hi, can I help you? Hi, yes. Actually, I believe you're the one I let hold my child, and I'd like her back. I let you hold my baby, and I want her back. Please, hold my baby. Ma'am, I... I'm sorry, do you even hear yourself? It's been seven years. I waited hours for you to come back, and when you didn't, I decided to raise that baby by myself. As far as I'm concerned, she's my kid now. No, that is what you call kidnapping. That is not. It absolutely is. I am calling the police. What's wrong, Mom? Honey, are you happy here with me? Of course I am. Why wouldn't I be? Well, there's no easy way to say this, but I'm not actually your real mom. What are you talking about? So, that's how I became your mom. But now, your biological mom wants you back. I don't care if you're not my real mom. I want to stay with you. Police, open the door, please. Oh no. Please don't let them take me. Now, your biological mom wants you back. I don't care if you're not my real mom. I want to stay with you. Police, open the door, please. Oh no. Please don't let them take me. Honey? Shh. She's sleeping. Sorry. But what did the officer tell you? That I'm supposed to give her back to her biological mom tomorrow. What? That can't be right. I promised her that she could stay with me. Oh, don't you worry. We'll figure this out. Please. I'll get it. Miss Stevens? Yes? I'm here because we have reason to believe someone came to your house pretending to be an officer today. Him and his wife have been taken into custody. Wait, so this means that I can keep her? Your daughter? Yes, absolutely. We actually believe they were trying to kidnap her. Honey, wake up. You don't have to worry anymore. You can stay with me. Really? Yeah, come here. Time to take your vitamins. Mom, do I have to? They make my head hurt. That means they're working. What exactly are they doing for me? Shh, open. Mom, stop. I can take it myself. Okay, let me see. Good job. Next one's at lunch. Yeah, okay, I know. You're gonna make me late. Hey, cool if I sit here for lunch? Sure. Why does no one talk to you? Um... 
FaceTime from mom. I'm really sorry, but I have to take this um, in private. Mom, oh my god, this is so embarrassing. Look, I just need to see you take it. There, are you happy? Yes, good job, honey. I love you. Why? This is why I'm never gonna have any friends. <laughs> hey, what the hell? Where did you come from? They're after me. There isn't much time. You need to stop taking those vitamins. They're Stop taking those vitamins. They're suppressing your powers. Powers? Yes, you're a special just like your father. A what? How do you know my father? I'm out of time. Just don't take those pills tonight and you'll see what happens. No, wait! <laughs> okay, it's time. Good job, honey. You just earned yourself some dessert. She's gotta stop treating me like I'm five. Kara, vitamin time. Okay, I'm coming. Go on, take it. What's wrong? Kara, don't tell her anything. She can't be trusted. Honey, what? Uh, nothing. Never mind. Uh-huh. Well, don't be late to class now. Bye, Mom. No, Kara, wait. I found your vitamins in the trash. Why were they in the trash? The better question is, why are you making me take them? I know they're not really vitamins. How do you know that? I just... I just know, okay? Damn it. Derek found you, didn't he? Who? Never mind. You have to take them. No, Mom. I'm going to school. Don't tell me no. You will take them. I know what's best. Open your mouth. No, you... you stay back. Oh, You are in so much... I know I have powers. Honey, you don't even know how to use them. <laughs> yeah, I do. Just watch. <laughs> Come on. Work. Ow. I'm sorry, Kara, but I have to do this to protect you. Oh, okay, just stay there. Can you hear me? Mom. It's all right. Open your mouth. Mom, no. Mm. <laughs> Kara? <laughs> yes, my plan worked. Hey, it's all right. You're safe now. Dad? Dad? Kara, you look so grown up. Yeah. No shit. You left when I was eight. I was forced to leave you, Kara. I was being hunted. Hunted? By who? Ultra. An organization set on eliminating our kind. It was your mom's biggest fear that you would become a special. A special as in having special powers? Yes. We think you might be the most powerful out of all of us. I don't think I can trust you guys. I don't even know how I got here. All of us specials are connected. Somehow you knew subconsciously to teleport here. My dad was a special too, and Ulta killed him. And they would have gotten me as well if it weren't for your dad. Please, I just want to keep you safe. Specials have either teleportation, telepathy, or telekinesis. We think you have all three. Okay, so how do I learn how to use them? Now use your telepathy to put a number in Derek's mind. Are you saying five? Yes. She really has all three powers. I want to try teleportation now. Hold on, that one's hard. I just want to try it. Kara, wait. <laughs> Honey? Happy birthday. Talk to her right now. But you still had to say, okay, mom. I did you, baby! I think today I'm gonna go with red. Red power unlocked. I get to see people's ages. Well, this will be interesting. Hey, good morning, girly. You're 20? What? How did you find out? Never mind that, but why are you still in high school? I failed. I got held back. Hey, it's okay. Your secret is safe with me. Hey, I'm new. Is it cool if I sit here? Yeah, of course. Thanks. So, how old are you? Me? Oh, uh, I just turned 17 about like uh, two months ago. Psst, hey, what? Do you believe in vampires? No, why? Because I think I'm sitting next to one. Huh? You're funny. I'm telling you, he's a hundred years old. Can you watch my bag? I gotta use the restroom. Yeah, sure. See, he's- Girl, what are you doing? Looking for evidence. Ew, what is that? I think this is- What the hell, dude? What are you doing with my stuff? What are you doing with my stuff? Well, I think the better question is, what are you doing with this? That's for my lunch. It's strawberry jam. Oh! <laughs> Can I have my stuff back? Yeah, sorry. Yesterday's power was kind of a disaster, so today I think I'm gonna go with green. Green power unlocked. Let's hope this power helps me figure out if that guy is a vampire or not. Hey, so I just wanted to apologize about yesterday. You're good. I actually think you're kind of cute. <laughs> How old did you say you were again? 17. I'm throwing a party tonight. Wanna come? Yeah, sure. I would love that. Sweet. I'll airdrop you my address. Hey, you made it. Yeah, but where is everyone? They're on their way. 
Hey, Mom, this is the girl I was telling you about. Ooh, she looks beautifully delicious. Stop it. Really, I could just eat you. Oh, no. I actually think that I might be bleeding, so I'm gonna go wash my face. I'll be right back. Ah, oh, shit. I knew it. The makeup came off. What the? Ellie. No. You're a hider. I can explain. You little liar. I'm telling mom and dad. Kim's a hider. What? What? She faked her mark. I'm sorry. Why would you do that? Because I, I was scared. Attention. The game has begun. All hiders now have two hours to find a hiding spot. Go hide. No. You have to. Just don't let us find you. But hide now, damn it. Get out of here. This is my spot. I don't know where to hide. All the flights are booked and all the buses are filled. What am I going to do? <coughs> Shh. Listen, you're about to get caught. Hey, I said you're about to get caught. Come on, let's go. You're a seeker. You're trying to trick me. This mark is fake. If I were a real seeker, you'd be knocked out by now. Just play along. What? Shh, don't say anything. Well, well, what do we have here? You caught a hider, huh? Yeah, she was a hard one to find, but I finally caught her. We were just leaving, actually. Nah, she's not going anywhere. Don't touch her! Ugh. Um, are hiders allowed to fight back? No, not really. Run! Oh, shit. Quick, in there! Whoa, wait, what is that? An underground tunnel I made. Now, come on! I am not going down there. I don't even know if I can really trust you. I've gotten you this far, haven't I? We have to go now. We'll be safe down here. Why are you helping me? Because you... Who gave you that necklace? My sister. Get rid of that necklace. Your sister is tracking you. No, she... she wouldn't. Oh, yes, she would. We need to keep moving. No. Excuse me? Yeah, I want to know why you came out of nowhere like, like some ninja and saved me, but you don't even know me. It's because you remind me of my sister who got traded in by my family. They traded in your sister for a million dollars? Yeah. And from then on, I've been trying to protect all the hiders I can. What was that? They found my tunnel. I'll distract them, you run. No, I'm not gonna leave you. Yes, you are. I'm not losing another girl on my watch. Now go! <laughs> Ellie, found you. You're it. Oh. Sorry, sis. That necklace led me right to you. Time to get my million. Babe, I got- Don't you dare use any more of those words, understand? Five million words? That's ridiculous. You won't be using any of those. I'm- What did I tell you about talking? I'm breaking up with you. Oh, really? Where are you gonna go? You don't have any money. Nine million words this year, huh? No one needs that many. Hey, I need you to go to the store for me. I don't like that pink shirt you bought yesterday. I want you to return it. You're allowed to use three words maximum when you go out. Don't be playing games with me this time. I'll be checking your words when you get back. Hi, what would you like to return? Just that? Okay, hold on one second. That'll be $6.99 back on the card. Please help me. Please help me. Oh, uh, did you need my help finding something in the store, or...? Hey, can we hurry up?
you're gonna tell me why. Go on, talk. Explain yourself. It was an accident. I was just telling the cashier thanks. Uh-huh. You sure about that? Yes, I swear. You should really have your dinner. It's getting cold. That's enough talking out of you. Go to sleep. Bed? Now. How did you make that chicken? Why? Because after I ate it, my head is filling. <sighs> my phone is dead and his is locked away. I have to get the charger. Please hurry up. <gasps> yes. 911, what's your emergency? I need help. Thank you for the information, ma'am. Officers will arrive shortly. You. You thought you could get away with putting something in my food? Your words. Why did you use up so many? Actually, don't speak. I'll mm. find out. You can't outsmart me. <sighs> so step away from the girl. Let's see your hands. Looks like I just did. No. Sweetheart, meet my new wife. Hello, dear. She's just about to get her words for the day. Really? Well, how much did you get? <gasps> That's weird. She usually gets way more words than that. How many words today, dear? Oh, how awful. And at your father's funeral, too. You should use them to say something to him. I'll miss you, Daddy. It's that time again. Time to see how many words you got. Oh, four again. I want a notebook. We've been over this. That would be a waste of paper. And you're foolish to use up your words so quickly. It's probably best you don't speak, dear. My queen, how is she to meet a prince if she cannot speak? Well, that's just it. She won't be able to meet one. <laughs> Princess, we heard there's a prince that wants to meet you at the ball today. Ladies, we do not gossip in this castle. And I can assure you, that's not true. Don't worry, princess. You look great. You're ready for the ball. You're going to make such a beautiful queen someday. <laughs> queen? She can never be queen. Why not? Because she hardly ever gets any words. How can she rule a kingdom with no words? At 18, she's supposed to take the throne. Absolutely not. It's bad enough she's a silent princess. Imagine having a silent queen. Hello, princess. How was your day today? Oh, no words, huh? I find it better when women don't speak anyways. <laughs> Care to dance? Oh, what was that for? Excuse me, princess. I, uh, I saw what you did back there. I thought it was great. I can't stand that prince. <laughs> but actually, there's something I wanted to talk to you about, maybe in private. It's about your Excuse work. me, it's past her bedtime. Come along. I don't ever want to see you around that prince again. He's not to be trusted. How many words today? How many did you get? Four again. Well, might as well use them up right now. Oh, don't be stubborn. Just say something. I will be queen. How dare you talk to me like that? You need to learn respect. You shall not leave this room for two days. I'm sorry, princess. We cannot open the door. Princess, can you hear me? I don't think this is her room. Help. Oh, princess, hey. I can't believe I found you. I also can't believe I climbed up this tower. Can I come inside? Right, sorry. First things first, I want to give you some words. I know it's illegal, but you deserve to speak. Thank you. Look, there's no easy way to tell you this. I think the queen is taking your words. What? Yeah, but worse than that, I think she's trying to have you killed. Open the door, I need to check on her. Hurry up, open the door. You have to go, climb out the window. Be careful. Just thought I'd check on you. Has anyone brought you any food yet? Well, you must be starving. I'll have the chefs make you something special. Here you are, dear. What? It's your favorite. Why won't you eat? You're trying to poison me. How did you... Who gave you words? My queen, we caught a boy trying to climb down the castle. No. Oh, so it was a boy who gave you words. Lock him up. No, please, he was just trying to help me. That's enough out of you. Take him to the dungeon. It's illegal to transfer words to someone else. Yes, your majesty. I know that you want me gone. Really? Took you long enough? Well, you're not going to get away with it because I'm going to expose you to- What's that, dear? I can't hear you. You see, I found a way to take your words. <laughs> the time has come. No one can hear you. In life, you must take what's rightfully yours. You see, since you're royal blood and I'm not, you're to take the throne at 18. And we can't have that happening, now can we? Poor helpless princess, should have just eaten the food. 
After all, that's how I got rid of your father. <laughs> what, you didn't think he just mysteriously passed away, did you? Oh! You little- Hey, get away from her. Who set you free? That would be me. The prince told me of your evil plan. Looks like he was right. Here, princess. That's illegal. So is trying to kill the princess. You are no longer queen. Would you like to take her words? No! You had infinite words, yet you were still taking words from me? Take her away. Congrats on becoming queen. Thank you for everything, and I know this might sound kind of silly, but I feel like you and I are meant to be together. Actually, you took the words right out of my mouth. Daddy, what is that? That's your likeness score. From now on, every time someone likes you, your score will go up. And when you reach 100%, you get to meet your soulmate. Wow. Snow, meet my new wife. Hi. Aw, hello. Daddy, I thought you said when people like me, my score will go up, not down. I don't think she likes me. Of course I do. There just must be a glitch. Oh, the king's passing was so unexpected. Princess, I brought you a rose for your loss. Thank you. It's lovely. Where is my rose? It was a loss for me as well. He was my husband. I'm so sorry. I was just thinking of the princess, your majesty. Snow? Yes? I just noticed your percentage has been going up a lot lately. And father said that when I reach 100%, I'll be able to meet my soulmate. Hmm, no. That won't happen. Why? Because, dear, it's not meant to be for you. In fact, follow me. Let me show you something. Here, you need to see this. A book? It's a magic book. Now open it and see why you can't meet your soulmate. Read the words, magic book in my hand. Who is the most liked royal in all the land? The queen is the most liked. Her score is 80%. You see, dear, as queen I have a reputation to uphold. It was very hard for me to get to 80%, and I can't have you surpass me. But why can't we both reach 100%? No, it's either me or no one. From now on, you will no longer be allowed to leave this castle. But I promised the village kids that I would bring them toys today. So your likeness score can go up? I don't think so. I'm not going to break my promise. Thank you. And one for you. Thank you, princess. Wow, that was very kind of you, princess. Are those your guards? There she is! Get her! You have left the castle without permission, princess. I'm sorry. The queen orders you back now. Uh, don't hold her like that! Wait! My queen, we have found her. You directly disobeyed me. I'm sorry, I- Silence! Look at your score! I didn't mean for that to happen. Your percentage is higher than mine. Shall I still take her into the woods, my queen? Yes, and make sure she doesn't return. <clears throat> I'll make it quick. No, please. Quiet. Don't make this harder than it needs to be. Think about my father. What would he want you to do? The king would be so disappointed in me. I can't kill you, princess. You must leave here and never come back. But- Run, now! <laughs> Hey, shoo! Get out of here! Why are you out in these woods alone? It's a long story, but my blouse, it's stuck in the vines. Don't worry, my dear. I will set you free. Come with me. It's not safe here. Now that I reached 100%, that has to be my soulmate. <gasps> Who are you? Oh, hello, my dear. I hope I didn't scare you. Actually, I'm not supposed to have strangers- But wait! I'm here to give you your soulmate. In that case, come inside. I brought this for you. An apple? Yes, you must be hungry. I don't like apples. But dear, I sense you're very lonely ever since your parents passed away. How do you know that? Because I'm magic. Isn't that how you feel? Yes, I... I've been so lonely. This is why I'm here, to help you, dear. One bite of this apple will make your soulmate appear. Do you promise? Cross my heart. You'll never be lonely again. Isn't it just delicious? <laughs> You're so gullible. <laughs> Princess, we're home. No, this is my fault, Dad. Son, it is. I should have never left her alone. You'll be a queen in heaven. Goodbye, Snow. Soulmate found. Zachary? Princess, you're... you're alive. True love's kiss. I, I can't believe it. I can't believe what the queen did. This has gone too far, my dear. You must take back your kingdom. You're right. 
Who is the most liked royal in all the land? Princess Snow is the most liked. That's impossible. She's dead. Think again. Stepmother, you're under arrest. Guards, take her away. Get off of me! I'll be taking this. No! That belongs to me! That crown belongs to Snow now, and I gotta say, it really suits her. Time to see how much money my boyfriend has- <laughs> Who is she? You know, I was about to ask you the same thing, but you look really familiar. Are you a model or something? Uh, actually, yes. Figures. I'm sorry, babe. This girl was just leaving. But you said- No, stay. I think you're gonna want to see this. I actually got him a little something. Here you go, sweetheart. Thanks. Oh, wait, but first, before you open that, I believe this is mine, right? Uh-huh. That's your Gucci bag. That's the one you wanted, right? Yes, it is. Thank you. Okay, go ahead and open yours. All right. What's this? Receipts of things that I bought this week. Baby, 10k worth of stuff? Oh, baby, you and I both know that you can afford it. Oh, and there's a card in there too. Go ahead and read that. Roses are red, violets are blue. You're a dirty, rotten cheater. I'm breaking up with you? Merry Christmas. <laughs> Girl, let's get out of here. I'm right behind you. Wait. Ladies, I'll buy you anything. No amount of money is worth being with him. Goodbye. Come on, give me an X. Oh, no, no, no. I cannot be a hider. My whole family are seekers. Concealer, please don't fail me now. Okay, let's see your mark. <gasps> yes, I knew Our it. Our girl is a seeker. Now we can finally tell you how the game works. So, of course, there's hiders and there's seekers, but everyone wants to be a seeker. The hiders are given a certain amount of time to hide, and then we get to go find them. When you find the hiders, do you... No, honey. <sighs> okay. We knock them out, and then we trade them in for money. What? If you turn in a family member that's a hider, you get a million. Well, I mean, that's kind of stupid, because family members, they are worth a lot more than money. Right? I'd turn your butt in in five seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Honey? What? You're sweating. No. Nighty night, Kim. Time to get my money. Where am I? And what am I wearing? We're in Hyder Prison, and that's our uniform. They think we're related. Really? I mean, we do kind of look alike, I guess. You remind me of my sister, who got traded in by my family. Do you have a brother that's a Hyder? Yeah, why? Because I think I know him. He tried to save me, but my sister turned me in. He is so worried about you. There has to be some way out of here. After you get caught, you have the option to end the game, but if you do, you die. Someone has to sacrifice themselves to save everyone else. That's why no one ends the game. I'll do it. My whole family turned against me, so I really have nothing, and you deserve to be with your-
You okay? Yeah, uh, do you think you could just get me some water? Yeah, of course. Okay, when he comes back, you know what to do. Got your... Natasha, what are you doing? I'm sorry. Don't do this. I don't have a choice. You have five seconds to take the shot. I don't know who's making you do this, but you always have a choice. Do it! Three, two, one. No! Run. Ugh. Guess I'll have to do it myself. Say goodbye to your freedom and your little boyfriend. Wait! How could you? You wanted 50 kills? Ugh. Well, you got it. Security! Let's see those hands! If they need to arrest me, I understand. Actually, I work for the CIA, and if you're willing to come work with us, we'll drop all the charges. Does that sound like a deal? Yes, I would like that. Thank you, Brett. You saved my life. I'll never forget that. Mom, look, I can get a teddy bear or a paintbrush. I think I'm gonna go with teddy bear. <gasps> no, pick the paintbrush. But- I said pick it. Okay. My paintbrush came in. Oh, thank goodness. There, that's for you. Now paint money. Money? Why money? Honey, just paint it. Okay. Okay, I'm done, but I don't understand why- Shh! Look! Your paintbrush is magic. No way. So you're telling me that everything I paint will come to life? Yes, the paintbrush only works for you. Well, I want to paint a puppy. Honey, no. Don't be selfish. You need to think of others before yourself, and there's lots of things that I need. Okay, here's your gold crown. Oh, it's perfect. Mom, can you please make me some food? All this painting is making me really hungry. Why, of course. But don't draw anything while I'm cooking. I'm gonna paint something she would never let me have. My own boyfriend. Honey, dinners. Let me see that. What did you paint? Nothing. I was just scribbling. Really? Then let me see it. No, wait. What is this? This is going in the garbage. Please, he wasn't done yet. He? Were you trying to draw a boyfriend? No. Give me that. No, this is my magic paintbrush. You can't just- Don't tell me what I can't do. I'm confiscating all of your paint stuff until tomorrow. Sorry, Mom, but I'm finishing this. The last thing I need is his eye color. I think this blue will look nice. He's done. Did you learn your lesson? Yeah, I did. Good. Here's your painting supplies back. Today, there is a lot I need you to paint for me. I finished your purple hair clips. Thank you, honey. Can I be done now? Hmm. I know you're not that tired. Well, it has been two hours, so okay, you rest. Mom, five more minutes. I'm not your mom. I'm your boyfriend. A hundred dollars every time someone lies to me, or a hundred dollars every time someone laughs at my joke, I'm not really funny enough for this one to work, so I think I'm gonna go with lying. Love the hair. Aw, thank you. Is it cool if I sit here? Yeah, sure. So, what's your name? My name is Jack. Whoever you're sitting next to will be your partner for the project. So it looks like you and I are partners, so maybe would you want to come to my place and work on the project, or- Nah, my parents don't allow me to go to a girl's house alone. Um, you know, what if we just went to like a Starbucks or something? That could work, right? I'm not allowed to go to Starbucks either. It's probably best you just go to my place. You look nervous, relax. I'm not gonna do anything. Hi, I'm, um, I'm here to see Jack. We're gonna work on a school project together. Yes, hello, I'm his father. I've been expecting you. I seriously just don't like her. Like, who does she think she is? She thinks she's better than me. And she's right behind me, isn't she? Yeah. <laughs> See anything? No. <laughs> See anything? No, don't see anything here. <gasps> you just have to get past the firewall, and we're in! Oh, watch me. <laughs> oh, watch where you're going, nerd. Hey! Mess with some- Where were you two? At the, At the movies. At the movies? What we meant to say was, we went to the mall, and then we went to the movie. She's really good! <laughs> Who was the first president of the United States? George Washington. Correct. How do you have no strikes? I don't know, I just get really easy questions. Oh my gosh, I just got another question. Who wrote the first dictionary? Macy, come on, you know this. Uh... 
Help me! We're not supposed to help each other, it's against the rules. But this is gonna be my third strike! Hi, sweetheart! How... how was school? My friend Macy, she, um... What is the name of this shape? Octagon! Correct. <sighs> Good job, sweetie. Want to answer a harder question to save your friend? I can save her? Well, of course, I have to. Who was the first woman pilot to fly solo across the Atlantic? Mom, look, my soulmate can control my hands or my hair. I think I'm gonna go with hands. Oh, no you don't. That's very inappropriate. Pick hair. But- This isn't up for debate. Eat the other one. Fine. I swear, Mom, my soulmate better not give me a weird hairstyle. Bye, Mom. I'm going to school now. Um, honey? What? Oh, why won't these come out? You may not remove hairstyle. No, I can't go to class like this. The preschool's that way. Shut up, I didn't pick this hair, my soulmate did. If he gives me one more bad hairstyle, I'm done. Sup, Wednesday. What? Have you not looked in a mirror? <laughs> that's not Wednesday, that's Thursday. Wow, so clever. Are you okay? I'm so mad at my soulmate. He gave me this dumb hairstyle and I can't take it off and people are calling me really mean names. What? I think you look cute. Well, thanks, but no one else does. <laughs> What do you want your hair to be? I don't know, like curly hair, I guess? Huh. Well, I hope it happens for you. Wait, what? Become queen or go to a strange land? Why would they even put that as an option? Whoops! Oh, stepmother, what have you done? Did you really think I would allow you to become queen? What's happening to me? You're being, You're sent, being sent to a land with no happy, happy endings. endings. What is this place? Oh my gosh, there you are. You're late. Late? Yeah, you're Princess Briella, right? Well, yes. Okay, follow me. The kids are waiting. Princess, you came to my birthday party. Oh, it's your birthday? Uh-huh. Well, today's my birthday too, but I'm afraid it hasn't gone very well. Aw, uh, well, I have your book, Princess. Maybe that will make you feel better. Oh, that's my home. We read your book every day. Thank you so much for entertaining them. Of course. How much do I owe you? Oh no, you don't have to pay me anything, kind peasant, but I am looking for a place to stay. Do you think that I could stay with you for a little while? Uh... Daddy, please? Be able to turn off your eyes or turn off your emotions? Uh, if I turned off my eyes, wouldn't I be blind? I'm gonna go with emotions. This is gonna be interesting. Let's try this out. Emotions off. Whoa, that was so weird. They posted who got the lead in the play. Can you check for me? I'm kind of nervous. Of course, let me check. Okay, I got the results. I'm sorry, but you didn't get the part. That's okay. Hey. Hey. Uh, can we talk? Yeah, what do you want to talk about? <sighs> this is hard to say, but I think we need to break up. It's all good. Wait, what? After that, it's probably best I leave my emotions off. Surprise, honey! I got you a car! What's the matter with you? Sorry, Mom. One sec. Honey, who are you? And where are my mom and sister? Build my own pet or build my own soulmate? I'm pretty single right now, so I think I'm gonna go with soulmate. Pick a color. I like them both, but I am a sucker for blue eyes. Pick a hug. I mean, I want them to be tall, but not like too tall. Six foot is good. Pick his figure. Not that that's important, but you know, a little muscle never hurt anyone. Okay, now this one is confusing me. Toxic or supportive? Yeah, I really want my man to be toxic. Come on. Creating your soulmate now. Okay, I am so nervous. Please stand by your soulmate is processing. All right. I have been waiting here for like two hours. What is the holdup? Unexpected error. Your soulmate has been delivered. Okay, that was uh, really weird. Okay, no big deal, your soulmate is at that door, so just be cool, be confident. Here we go. Hello, nice to meet you. Thank you for the jacket. No problem. Wait, what's in your pocket? That would be my medication. Oh, I am so sorry. I, I shouldn't have even looked. It's all good, you were just being cautious. What do you do for fun? Well, I usually like to go to the park and walk my dog. <laughs> I bet you and your little dog get a lot of attention on walks. Yeah, she's... How did you know I have a small dog? You just look like the type to have one. Thanks for the tea. Of course. Cheers. Cheers. Hope this isn't too forward. 
So what do you say? Well, it says I have 24 hours to make a decision. Don't tell me you want to wait. I mean, we've only known each other for a few hours, and I would just like to get to know you a little bit better before... Before I... Shh, it's okay. I had a feeling you might say that. Let me take that drink. Finalizing your decision. You pick Damien as your boyfriend. Where am I? Join a dating program or go to prison? I guess I'm joining a dating program. Finding you boyfriend based on your internet search yeah, history. Yeah, that's not creepy. Ready for your date. You know what? Why not? I hope you don't mind paying for the bill. Yeah, sir, you can give that to her. I forgot my wallet. <laughs> Ooh, excuse me. You can actually just take this and keep the change. Goodbye. Wait, what? Finding another match. Thank you. Sup, girl? Did it hurt when you fell from heaven? I'm sorry, no. Just, just no. Finding new boyfriend. Please let it be someone decent. Hey, I'm Damien. Hi, I'm Danielle. <laughs> you seem cold. Here, take my jacket. Thank you so much for the jacket. <laughs> no problem. Wait, what's in your pocket? Hey kid, want some candy? Yes! Okay, just follow me over here and I'll give you some. Ow, you're hurting my ears! Ah, oh, come on, don't be afraid, follow me. <gasps> Get away from her! We're leaving. I told you not to talk to strangers. I'm sorry. Where's your headphones? I lost them. You what? I just bought you those. Remember, whispering is deadly. Getting ready for school? Yep. If you hear any whispering at all... I know, I know. Put on my headphones. Mom, I got this. So, prom's coming up. Yeah. I was just wondering if you... Would want to come with me to prom. That's not funny! <laughs> oh, what's wrong? Excuse me? Brienne? Hello? I'm so sorry, Miss Sanders. See me after class. I'm confiscating your headphones. Oh, but my mom said... Zip! Hand them over, you'll get them back later. I want to show you a video before you go. Hi, you're watching ASMR. You're- The King of Green Hearts. Sorry to tell you, your guards didn't make it. Why are you doing this? What do you want? Revenge! Your father stole your mother from me. She was supposed to be my wife. What? You have to let that go. My father passed away years ago. I know, which means there's no one left to protect you. Your powers are no match for mine. You're coming with me, and you're never going to see your mother again. Oh. You came back. Listen, when I shook your hand, I felt something. I did too. I think somehow we created a new power. Or maybe our powers are stronger together. That could be the way we defeat this guy. Here, give me your hand. Hey, moron. Come and get us. Now. No! The Green Hearts have been defeated, and the wedding is off. But honey, the legend says if two people's heart colors mix together, that means they're soulmates. Hey, I just wanted to say thank you, and if, you know, you want to come back and visit me, you're more than welcome to. You can't force me to marry him. I'm sorry, but we need his kingdom's protection from the green heart. No, we don't. We can protect ourselves. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go have a little word with the prince. Honey, wait. Devin, your majesty, your help is no longer required, so, um, you guys can just go. Great, come on, Dad, let's get out of here. Son, now wait just a minute! We agreed you two would be married! I didn't agree to anything! Yeah, neither did I! So, goodbye, Prince Devin, it was really nice meeting you. Yeah, real nice. What's up with you two? Is something wrong? No, nothing's wrong, just, um, have a safe trip home. I still can't believe you did that. Well, Mom, actually, I've been thinking a lot about the prince, because yesterday when we touched, my heart- My queen! The green hearts! They're here! Stay in this room. Mom, is that you? Surprise.
one? Wait. What is this? A niceness score? I'm gonna have at least like a 90%. 40? How is that possible? I'm like so nice. Hey, I'm back from kindergarten. What do you want, you little brat? I want to show you what I made. Is that slime? Yeah, I made it for you. You did? Uh-huh. Yeah, I hate slime. But it's your favorite color. Get out! Hi, excuse me, I would like to buy a ticket to prom, please. I'm sorry, but your niceness score is too low. What? To purchase a ticket, your score must be over 70. So you're telling me that I don't get to go to prom because I'm not a pushover like you? <gasps> Detention! This is so unfair. Hi, sissy. Wait a minute, how do you have a hundred percent? Cause I'm kind. <gasps> I need you to teach me your ways. Hey, Ash, what's above my head? It's a love meter. It tells you how much people love you. Wow, girl, you really love me. <laughs> of course I do, bestie. Hey, mom. Hi, hun. How was your day at school today? Why don't you love me? Excuse me? What are you talking about? I knew I was your least favorite child. I bet you aren't even my real mom. Are you okay, babe? No, I found out that my mom doesn't even love me. Aw, oh, baby, who couldn't love you? Apparently you. The meter shows 1%. Well, yeah, because it's- Just leave me alone. You're literally the only person who still loves me, Ashley. Ugh, bestie, I'm so sorry. Here, have some water. Thanks. Hey, Ash. She is so stupid. I told her the hate meter is a love meter. <laughs> when she drinks that water, her boyfriend is mine. You know what to say. Mm-hmm. I wanna be a... Say doctor. Sugar baby! What? No! Where did you learn... Why would you say that? Sissy told me to say it. <gasps> Elizabeth! It was just a joke. But, but, she said that I will make a lot of money. Is that true, mommy? Uh, I mean, yes, but no! No, you will not be doing that. Hey, look, it's sugar, baby girl. I was six, okay? Cut me some slack. Well, I heard Ashley's rich dad is single now. You guys want to hook up? <laughs> <laughs> they probably will. Stay away from my dad, creep. I don't care about your dad, Ashley. People are just spreading rumors about me. Besides, your dad's kind of, um, a jerk. No offense. At least my dad didn't leave me. What did you just say? You heard me. Do you know why you're here? Because I punched Ashley in the face. Yes, but I gotta say, she deserved it. Wait, Principal Richards, are you being for real? Please, call me Steven. Sissy, I'm scared. Hey, it's okay. I know this vacation home is a little creepy, but mom and dad will be back home from their party soon. And besides, my danger meter, it's only at 2%, so we're good. <laughs> Sissy, I'm gonna do a trick. Are you watching? Uh-huh. Yeah, good job. I'm almost at the top. Millie, get down from there right now! <laughs> Millie, I'm serious. Okay, I'm coming. <laughs> it's gonna be okay. <laughs> Crap, my phone is dead. My arm is hurting. You know what? I saw a hospital down the street. I'll just take you to it. We think her arm might be broken, so we're gonna take her for some x-rays. No, I don't want to. It's okay. I'll be right here waiting for you when you get out. It'll be very quick, sweetheart. Come on. Okay. Hey, I've been waiting like 45 minutes for my sister to be done with x-rays. What's taking so long? We're not doing x-rays today. Our machine's under maintenance. Wait, what? Then where do they take my sister? I'm not sure what you're talking about. This just in, scientist Shepard White claims his drink smile will cure your stress. A drink that cures stress. Yeah, right. Did you hear about that drink? The one that's supposed to cure your stress? Come on, Lily, it's a hoax. People say it really works. I think we'll pass. Oh, hey you. Are you ready for that algebra test? Not gonna lie, I was up all night on TikTok, so no. <laughs> Attention class, as you may or may not know, new laws have been put into place. Starting tomorrow, everyone will be required to drink one cup of smile before entering the classroom. Wait, they can't make us do that, right? Next, what's your number? Number 16. All right, and here's your smile for the day. <sighs> Riley, stop! Don't drink that! Babe, what are you doing? That drink, it's a lie. It's doing something to us. That's enough. Oh. Finish your smile. Get him out of here. Let me see a cup. All right, how do you feel? I feel great. You made it! You look so cute! Thanks! Wait, who are you supposed to be, though? I'm... She looks like the girl from James Bond, right? Oh, I get it. You know, I didn't think you were coming. Where were you? You need to get out of there now. Yeah, I'm trying. You need to use your laser ring. Didn't Director Johnson say that was just a prototype? 
Yes, but it's your only option, Agent 22. Now use it. That was hot. Well, you're free, aren't you? And if you hurry, you might make it to that Halloween party of yours. I just uh, got a little, you know, tied up at work. Good morning, honey. Hola, mama. Buenos dias. Aw, thank you. Hey, he must be your... Now, remember, sweetheart, don't lose that... jeans and a t-shirt today i swear he better not those are the clothes that i told to that guy hmm pick a soulmate from my galaxy or earth i've always wanted to meet a human so i guess i will go with earth activating soulmate string it will move when your soulmate is close hi princess whoa how do you get your soulmate string to move mine has been not moving Where'd you pick your soulmate to be from? Oh, well, I picked a human from Earth. Your soulmate string won't work. What? It only works if your soulmate is on the same planet as you. How could you pick a human? I am sorry, Mother. I let my curiosity of humans get the best of me. You will be single for the rest of your life now. My soulmate string cannot be moving. That would mean that my soulmate is intruder alert close by. Hi, uh, I believe this string led me to you. You believe your soulmate string led you to me? Yeah, I was in my space shuttle, and the next thing I know, I'm being pulled into your spaceship. So this must mean that you are a human. Uh, yeah, this technology is amazing. Is this your ship? Yes, please do not touch anything. My mother will get very upset. Mother, wait, who's your mom? She is the queen of this galaxy, and she does not like- A human! Get him. Whoa, whoa, hey, I come in peace! Mother, wait, we are connected. He is my soulmate, see? Yeah, bring the human to my lab. No, hey, guys, wait! Princess, please, do something! Make sure he can't move. Stop, no, let me go! You must kiss the human to detach your string. You will allow us to do that? Yes, remove his helmet. No! <gasps> What is wrong, human? I... I can't breathe. Go on, kiss him to remove the string, then he shall die. 